Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. So one day I got bored and started watching Arrow season two, or like episode eight or something. I finished the season, then went back to watch the rest of season two. Then I saw season one. Kind of a weird order, but that's where I started. When season two was on TV, that's when I started watching. And ever since then, I've been there for the ride, the whole ride. Not just Arrow, but The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, um, Black Lightning. I've been there for all the shows, all the episodes. It's been this crazy journey building up this big universe. It starts with Arrow and then they introduce Barry Allen in season two. Then he gets his own show as The Flash, obviously. And then characters from The Flash and Arrow join in as a team to make Legends of Tomorrow. Then there's Supergirl and that connects in. Then there's Black Lightning. They connected him in as well. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy how they've all built this up and brought it all together. I just like universes, you know? Universes where multiple franchises just connect to each other, just like the MCU. I love the MCU. Um, I like this you know, universe. Um, they've not done it as well, but they've still done it to an extent where they've still built it quite well, built this connected universe. And it's kind of cool how they've built everything up, how they've teased some things as well with the Justice League, obviously. They've even teased Wonder Woman with Femiscara. They've teased Green Lantern with uh, a How Jordan jacket back in like season two or something they they put easter eggs in there as well which is kind of cool which kind of indicates that hey he's in this universe too how jordan's in this universe um there's a batman in this universe they reference bruce wayne it's awesome how they've built this tv universe and it's just worked so well and um it's been a crazy achievement that's for sure but as for the show arrow this is about reviewing arrow the final season for me overall as a season of Arrow, as the final season of Arrow, I don't think it was that good, honestly. Um, I hate to say that because I love the show. Um, I love season one and two especially, and season five. For me, those are the top three seasons. But this last season to me has been underwhelming in a way. It's not been as good as I wanted it to be because it's, it's been an important show in this universe. It started everything and the fact that it was ending in its final season Considering it was the final season, it just didn't quite work as I thought. The first seven episodes were setting up Crisis. Like, it didn't feel like the last season of Arrow. It felt like a prelude to Crisis. And for me, that it, for me, the show suffered because of it, to be honest. Um, and then the eighth episode was actually Crisis, obviously. And that episode was... I'm trying to think of a word. I'm trying to think of a word. Um, underwhelming. Underwhelming, because this is where he dies and his death just felt so underwhelming. It just didn't work for me. And it kind of didn't help that Crisis itself wasn't that good. The crossover was not as good as we all thought it would be. It had some good cameos, some good crossovers there, some good character moments. But storyline wise, it wasn't really that good. The first three parts were kind of, kind of not that great. It was kind of focusing more on cameos than anything. And part four and five definitely improved, but it still wasn't that great. It was still like underwhelming to me. For me, there's at least two crossovers that are better than this one uh, from the CW. So the fact that Crisis itself didn't seem that good, that didn't help either. It didn't help. If Crisis was great, it might have been different. His death might have felt a bit more, a bit more emotional, a bit more. It didn't. Just, it didn't feel emotional to me, honestly. When he died, it didn't feel emotional, and it should have. He's a hero. I've been following this show since season two. It should have felt emotional and it just didn't. I felt more emotion in the finale. And to be fair, that's good. You're meant to feel it in the finale because it's the final episode. But in episode eight, it just, it just wasn't it. It just didn't quite work how it should have worked, to be honest with you. Um, then there's episode nine. So he's dead now and there's two episodes left. Episodes nine and ten. Episode nine was probably the best one. That might be unpopular, to be honest, but it was probably the best one in the entire final season. It had no arrow in it, which is, it, it makes it even crazier. But um, it takes place 20 years later, I think, and it focuses the Canary. So apparently there is going to be a new spin-off show with the Canaries. So it's Laurel, Dinah, and Mia. These are the three characters. And this episode basically sets up that show, which apparently they're doing, which is interesting, to be fair. And I wasn't looking forward to it, to be honest, because I was just like, 
they spent this whole season setting up Crisis for that to be disappointing. Now they're setting up something else. Like, w w where's the part about Arrow? But anyway, anyway, enough of that. Enough of that, alright? I wasn't looking forward to this one. Having said that, when I watched it, I enjoyed it. I was just like, this is good. This is really good. If they do the actual show in this sort of tone, in the way it's done in this episode, I'll definitely tune in and watch it. Like, that's... That's good. If that's a preview to what what might come in future, then sure, I'll watch it for sure. Uh, I was going to watch it anyway, to be fair. I usually watch the CW shows, the DC ones. Um, but still, like, that was surprisingly good. Then the finale came along, and again, it was good. It wasn't as good as the previous episode, but still, for me, it was a good send-off. Uh, there's no action in it. It's just, you know, a farewell, basically. And as part of that Oliver's sacrifice, he brought everyone back. So everyone that died, you know, there's... Tommy's there, um, everyone's there, <laughs> Roy, Thea, everyone's back together, everyone's all a big family again, Quentin's back, it's, everyone's back, to bring all of them back, everyone that died, and you see the two Alguses as well, so there's Talia Algo and um, Nissa Algo, they're both there at the funeral, um, Felicity meets Mia as well, there's a lot of other things going on, but yeah, he brings everyone back, oh yeah, and finally, John Diggle found what appears to be a Green Lantern ring. You don't see a ring, but he opens something and it's glowing in green. And he did reference Brightest Day as, at some point during his eulogy. So, maybe he's becoming Green Lantern. And if that's in a show, I'm definitely watching it. I love the Green Lanterns. They're my next favorite thing after Batman in terms of like comic books or in terms of like superhero stuff. And I want a Green Lantern movie. Like I really want it. I don't know what the DC you're doing, I want one right now, but I just love the concept of Green Lanterns, I just love how it's all done, so if they're going to do a Green Lantern show, I'll definitely be interested. Just a bit worried though, because like CW effects are like not nowhere near as good, so it's not going to look that good, so I kind of want to see it in a movie instead, um, but still, um, if they're doing a Green Lantern angle, I definitely want to see it, that's, that's a cool next thing to do um, in, uh, in this universe. But yeah, everyone's at their funeral, by the way. So everyone he brought back, or all his family and friends, and also Kara's there. His superhero friends are there as well. Barry's there. So it's a it's a nice send off. But this final season, as a whole, if I was to rate it, I'd give it a six out of ten. But these last two episodes, I'd give a seven or an eight. Like I think these last episodes have been good, and have been a good ending, and a good send off. And the penultimate episode was actually a good setup for a new show. So. I'll take that, but the previous eight, not so much, not a fan, to be honest. Um, I wish it was better, but you know, Crisis wasn't that good, and this this final season of Arrow has not been that good either, for the most part, until the end. But at least they got the ending right. The ending, I think, was good. I think it was a nice ending, and it was a good send-off. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this review, and um, let me know your thoughts below if you want. This is your boy, Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching, have a good day and see ya.